Hey guys, welcome to Victory Flame, and today I'm going to show you how to sign up for shared hosting on A2 Hosting. A2 Hosting is a web hosting provider that allows us to host websites. Now you guys might be thinking, what exactly is shared hosting? Shared hosting is a web hosting service that allows our site to be shared on a single web server. Shared hosting is usually the most affordable service that a web hosting provider offers, but the trade-off is that you're sharing resources with other users on that server. If your website doesn't contain a lot of traffic or you're just building a small project, the trade-off won't be as noticeable. So what's great about A2 hosting is that you can host Node.js, Python, Ruby, PHP, and WordPress applications on their affordable shared hosting plans. In addition, with their Swift plan, since we can easily spin up multiple sites, we can host a PHP-powered site while at the same time have a Node.js-powered site. So it's a great playground for developers who are trying to experiment with multiple programming languages or bootcamp students and computer science majors who want to build different personal projects, each containing a different backend language. Now let's get started. Head on over to the link in the description below, which should show you this web page if you want to follow along with me as I sign up. Now, since I want to create multiple projects, I'm going to select the Swift plan by clicking Get Swift. Now you'll end up on a page that asks you to choose a domain. For now, I'm just going to sign up for a subdomain and in the box next to HTTP, which I have blurred out on my screen, type in the name you want for your subdomain and then click Check. Next, you'll be sent to a page that will ask how you want to customize your hosting. I'm going to select the one month plan. Now let's scroll down the customization options and select A2 Website Builder. Click on this dropdown and select free. This is the only customization option we want to change. So let's keep all these other options the same. and click continue, and then click checkout. Next, we'll be sent to a page to enter our personal details and payment method. I'll let you guys enter your personal information and I'll meet you back here when you're done. Now that we've finished entering our personal information, we want to click on complete order, which will finalize our order, and then we will be brought to the portal page. And that's it. Now we have our A2 hosting account set up and we can get started with creating our web applications. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.